Okay, let's go ahead and solve this proportion. And this is uh, kind of basic algebra, stuff that you absolutely need to know. And the first thing is, what is a proportion? Okay, so we're, I'm asking you to solve a proportion. I'm pretty sure um, all of you out there have heard the word proportion or, hey, these things are in proportion or they're proportional. We use this word. It's a common kind of word in the English language. But uh, in mathematics, a proportion has a very specific uh, definition. So we're going to go through what a proportion is and how to solve that. But if you think you can solve this proportion, uh, go ahead and pause the video and do this. Uh, with this should probably take you all of about 30 seconds if you know what you're doing. Put your answers in the comment section. Uh, uh, what value of M will make this a proportion? Okay. So again, I'm going to solve this here. It's actually quite uh, an easy of a problem to do. Uh, but again, I want to take a little extra time just to review the concept of uh, what a proportion is, how we solve it, and then we'll go ahead and solve this particular problem right here. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, if you are struggling in, in math, if you feel like you're not getting the instruction you know, that you need in order to understand, or maybe you have a great teacher, but uh, you just don't have enough uh, hours, uh, you know, in school, okay? Or maybe you try to go after school and you're not getting enough time, or maybe you have a great tutor, but you're not getting enough time with them, whatever the case is, or maybe you just want to explode forward in mathematics. You want to get, you know, go faster than what maybe your current class or school is allowing you to. Whatever the case is, in my math program, I've, I've been working on this thing for decades, my whole goal is to give you in control of very clear, comprehensive math instruction, okay, to, so you can excel in independent learning. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you out. My math help, help program has uh, helped thousands and thousands of people over several years. So it's definitely something hopefully you will uh, consider to aid you to be successful in mathematics. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has uh, a math section on it, so I'm talking about the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Back in Place, or Alex, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, I can go on and on and on and on and on, but I don't want to bore you to death with all those exams, but I can help you prepare and pass those very important type of exams that a lot of you are going to be uh, taking. Now, if you homeschool, I have a fantastic homeschool uh, math program and curriculum, something to check out. Again, you can find all this stuff uh, in my math help program. The link will be in the description. And if you don't have any math notes, don't panic. I'm going to let you use mine. Uh, you can find the links to my math notes in the description of this video. But just know this. Um, if you want great math grades, you have to take great math notes. This right here, unfortunately, for a lot of students, this is missed. They're like, eh, you know, I, I don't really have to take that great of notes. No, listen, start taking awesome notes and you'll see your grade just skyrocket. All right, let's get into uh, this problem. And again, if you think you could solve it, go ahead and pause the video and put your answer in the comment section. But let's first talk about what a proportion is. All right, so a proportion is nothing more than two equal fractions. So here I have a fraction one half, and let's uh, think of another fraction that's not one half, but uh, is equal to one half. So, you know, all kinds of fractions you can think of. How about five over 10, right? So five over 10 is the same as one half if I reduce it, but these are two equal fractions. One fraction right here is equal to another fraction, okay? And they're equal in value, one half, is 0.5 and 5 tenths is 0.5, or I reduce 5 tenths, I can reduce that fraction down to 1 half. So these are two equal fractions. Now, again, this is what a proportion is. It's simply two equal fractions. Now, the main property that you want to know about uh, a proportion, i.e. two equal fractions, is something called the cross product. Now, if we uh, multiply crosswise, okay, like this, uh, the cross product of a proportion is always equal, okay? So, for example, 1 times 10 right there is equal to 2 times 5, all right? So 1 times 10, of course, is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. So when it comes to a proportion, the cross product is uh, equal, okay? It's always equal, all right? So just remember that, and you'll, you'll know how to solve proportions. So here in our lovely little problem, now that we're saying, hey, this is a proportion, solve the proportion, how can I solve this? Well, you want to apply the cross product, okay? And of course, we're going to have to do some basic algebra. 
So you're going to have uh, 3 times n and then uh, 2 times m plus 1. Now there is a little bit of a um, area right here where you have to be very careful with your algebra or you will make a mistake. A lot of students will get this wrong because they don't understand this little detail, which of course I'm going to get to in just one second. But I wanted to at least kind of set you up. Uh, we, of course, we just talked about what a proportion is and how to solve it. So if you can do the algebra and solve for m, okay, and of course you can always check your work here, then you will have solved this proportion. So I'm going to show, I'm going to do this here in a second, but I want to you know kind of give you an opportunity to see if you're going to make this mistake or not. All right, so let's get into it now. And this, again, here is our problem. So we're going to go uh, 3 times m. All right, so that's 3m. And then we're going to go 2 times m plus 1. And here is the key. See this m plus 1? Here in this problem, I don't have any parentheses around uh, this expression, but you need to have parentheses around this. So if you went 2 times m plus 1, and you were like, oh, that's just 2 times m plus 1, like this, uh, a lot of students will make this mistake. They'll go, oh, that's just going to be 2m plus uh, 1, okay? Very common mistake, but that's not the, uh, the actual answer. It's going to be 2 times m plus 1. Put this in parentheses. So 2 times m plus 1 in parentheses, you got to uh, distribute that 2. So this is going to be 2m plus, okay, that's 2 times m, and then 2 times this 1, that's 2. So 2m plus 2, that's equal to 3m. Okay, so a couple things going on here. Uh, one is your ability to uh, one uh, put grouping symbols around some sums or differences. Anytime you have expressions in algebra that you're adding or subtracting uh, things with a variable in it, just put grouping symbols around it. You'll you can never go wrong. It's not going to break it, and it can uh, help you making uh, make uh, avoid making distributive property errors, okay? So this is an application of the distributive property. So if you're not quite sure what I'm doing here, you need to review the distributive property. All right, so we get to here. We have 3m is equal to 2m plus 2. Well, this is pretty easy to solve this uh, little equation. All I have to do is subtract 2m from both sides of the equation. And when I add down, 3m minus 2m is m. This goes away, so m is equal to 2, okay? That is the answer. And let's go ahead and double check this here. Let me go ahead and erase this. If m is equal to 2, does this work? Uh, does this check out? So I'm going to plug in a 2 right here and a 2 right there. So this will make this 2. This would be 2. So I'm going to end up with what? Well, I'll have 2 there. 2 plus 1 is 3. So the left hand side is 2 thirds, and that is equal to the right hand side, which is in fact 2 thirds. All right, so if you got this right, then I've got to give you your little happy face for today with a good old 1984 Mohawk, an A plus, a 100%. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a few stars here just so you can feel extra special for today. Nice job. Okay, so again, a couple of big picture items here. Uh, one, you got to know what this word proportion means. Proportions are everywhere, and they're associated with this other topic called rates and ratios. So when you study proportions, you typically... Uh, studied as a bundle rate ratios and proportions. Okay, big topic in math and uh, a lot of standardized tests. Uh, they just love to give uh, give you rates and ratio and proportion type of problems. So you got to know this really well. Very common um, uh, math skill that's tested quite frequently. Okay, so there's one thing that you got to know is this. But you're not going to be successful in these type of problems unless you know what a proportion is and you can handle the algebra. Okay, we're not making these little mistakes uh, as I kind of highlighted. That's why I, that's why I made this uh, problem this way. I purposely didn't put the parentheses here because I wanted to, you know, um, you know, review this with you so you don't make this error on a test or quiz that you might be taking in the future. All right, so if this uh, video was helpful in some small way, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out in a big way. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to all the way up to calculus. My goal again is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So please take advantage of all the videos that I make. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.